Okay, so the very first sentence of your expository essay is called your hook. All right, it's called that because it grabs us and gets our attention. Like if you got hooked on something, right? Walking by something. So it should grab your reader's attention and encourage them to keep wanting to keep reading. It should be exciting. Think about how many times you pick up a book and you're like, oh, I don't like the first page. It didn't hook you in. Your essay needs to hook us in. You want people to keep reading. So make that good first impression, right? It's the first thing someone reads. So you really want to make them go, oh, this is going to be good. You could ask a question. You could make a bold statement. Or you could use a strong quote or statistic. Something that grabs our attention. Let me give you examples for this essay on um, sorry, wrong number. So you have to write a four paragraph character analysis of Mrs. Stevenson, support your analysis of the examples of her actions as expressed in the dialogue and stage directions. Be sure to show how her actions affect the drama's plot. So if we think about this, you've already written your thesis statement. So you've already said what her actions are that impact the plot. You want to get your attention on that. You want to make sure the reader understands who she is. So some examples. If I was going to ask a question, has anyone ever been so annoying that others want them dead? Does that get your attention? It does, right? Especially if you don't know the storyline. You're like, wait, what's going on? So there's a good question that gets everyone's attention. Make a bold statement. Some people don't believe in karma, but after hearing about Mrs. Stevenson, they should. What goes around comes around. So now you're like, oh, what did she do? What kind of, how did karma get her back? I'm interested as the reader. I want to know more. It hooked me in. I could use a quote. In this case, I picked one from the play. I'm an invalid and it's the maid's night off and I hate to be alone, even though he says I'm perfectly safe as long as I have the telephone right beside my bed. It's a pretty suspenseful quote, right? It, it has foreshadowing in it. It grabs your attention. So any of these ways hook our attention. How are you? going to get your reader's attention. What are you going to do to get them to start thinking about the play and what your essay is about? That's the hook.